We left off by adding our campaigns for the month. The next thing I usually do is add any notes I'll need for the upcoming month. My notes are usually a mix of logistics I need to keep in mind in order to make my social media strategy work, budget information, and any notes from the previous month. At the end of each month, I like to take a minute to go through and see what worked and what didn't from the previous month. It helps me make sure that my social media strategies keep improving each month. Here are some notes that have been inspired by my coaching clients in the past. So the first note I have is to create a discount sheet for staff with current promotions. My social media strategy will not work that month if my staff don't know about the promotions and can follow through with the discounts I want to give. The next note I have is to make sure the image text is big enough. So um, sometimes I see posts going out on social media and I notice that if I try to read them on my phone, it's really hard and I'll either have to zoom in or if I don't care enough, I'm just going to skip by them. The next note I have is no political post. This is just based on experience for my clients, for me. Even if you're really riled up about a local politician or anything like that, it's very rarely relevant to your business, so be very careful. It's also a great way to start a discussion on your page that you don't necessarily want to get involved in. If you've already been posting on social media, I recommend you go through your old posts and see if there are any trends. Which posts have a lot of likes or shares? Which posts got no interactions? Did you get any mean comments? Try to think about any trends that might be going on with your social media postings. Next, I add what I like to call anchor days. These are notes on days that can't be moved, such as holidays or my X of the week days. If you have an event, I would suggest adding it to your calendar now. I write these in small letters at the bottom so I know that I still need to think of what I'm going to post that day, but I have them down on paper so that I can't forget about them. One thing you'll see right now is that Pet Day and one of the Barista of the Week campaign posts fall on the same day. Now, Barista of the Week is way more important to my business, so I'm going to go ahead and skip Pet Day. The next part is my favorite part, the brainstorming session. This is when we commit to the posts we're going to do to the next month and we get to use all our creative juices to think of what we're going to do. I've added posts to nearly every day and as soon as I write them down in the big letters, I've committed to do them. Let me zoom in a little to make it easier to read. I've also added some color coding so that you can visualize my strategy here a little better. You can see I've highlighted each of the campaigns in their own color. The first thing I want you to notice is that I've added the name of the person who's going to be featured for each X of the week post. This gives me time to write those posts and reminds me I need to contact them to let them know they're going to be featured and so I can do my interview with them. If you scan through some of the posts I've added here, you can see I have a variety of different post types, including images, quizzes, blog posts, and memes. You'll find that certain customers respond to different types of posts better, so I recommend changing it up. Another thing I want you to know is that for each promotion, I scheduled out multiple posts. One mistake I see a lot of people make is assuming that you only need to post a promotion once. Only a very small fraction of your audience will see your posts on social media and a small fraction of the people who see your posts are going to remember and actually act on it. So in order to actually get people to act on your promotion, your discount, or something like that, you're going to need to post several posts for each campaign or promotion. Now that I have my plan for April, I need to finish writing them, creating the images for them, and scheduling them out using my favorite social media scheduling tool. I'm excited for you to get started. If you use this calendar to plan out your month, 
please let me know by reaching out to me on social media. I would love to check out your social media posts. If you're interested in more courses by me, please check out the links at the end of the course. I go way more in depth than I can in a one hour free course. Some of them are still in development, but if you sign up to my email list, I'll send you an exclusive early bird discount when they're released. All right, thank you so much for taking my course and see you out there on social media.